Today I fucked up by giving a little person a kid's menu. Happened many, many years ago at a restaurant I was working at. It was super busy, we were on a wait. I was the manager at the time, and was helping the hosts seat the aforementioned wait. A party of two was next up, and I was told which table to go to. I glanced at them quickly and saw what I thought was a mother and daughter, so I grabbed a regular menu, a kid's menu and crayons, then took them over to the table. I stepped back to let them sit, with 100 other things going through my mind, and then placed the menus in front of them. I noticed that the little girl had a coach purse, I thought that's odd for a kid. I looked at her face as I sat the crayons and coloring menu down as I realized that she was most definitely not a child, and she was absolutely not happy. Rather than being smart and apologizing, I ran away and hid in the kitchen expoing food for most of the next hour they were there. Really wish I would have handled that differently. Cooks made fun of me relentlessly when they found out why I was in the kitchen. Too long didn't read, sat an adult too top that I thought was a woman and her daughter with a kid's menu. Happened to me and my little friend once. We were puzzled first but later had so much fun de-stressing while coloring with crayons while we waited for our food. One of the most fun dinners I've had! Exclamation mark. Luckily your brain will remind you of this, years in the future, just as you're falling asleep. Reminds me of a similar experience I had. Whilst working at a maternity unit I admitted a heavily pregnant woman in her late 30s who looked to be accompanied by her teenage son. Thinking this was rather sweet of the young man to help his mum into the hospital, I greeted them both kindly and asked, is this your son? She looked at me immediately in anger and I knew I had made a huge error in judgment. No this is my partner I had very wrongly presumed the man, who was clearly younger in age to her, was her son. I wanted the ground to swallow me up and proceeded to privately beg my colleague to continue with the rest of their admission, after warning them so they didn't make the same mistake. I've never made the same mistake again. Some people age terribly, might not have been that different age. First of all, this is hilarious. So bad, yet so funny. Probably laughed harder than I should have. Second, it was an honest mistake. Live and learn. Next time, you will be prepared to handle it better. We've all made silly mistakes. Had a friend who was a server at a fine dining restaurant. He greets his new table good evening gentlemen except it was two ladies with short hair and rather masculine style. He also ran into the kitchen got the manager and traded stations with someone else for the rest of the night. I used to be a corporate trainer and had a woman associate with a short haircut and I said his, I mean her several times. There is no way she kept believing it was an accident. To make it worse there were literally zero men in the class. I'm still shocked I didn't get an official complaint. Today I fucked up by almost breaking my friend's mariage because I forgot my tango and her place. Edit, lol there are no ants. It's just a silly typo. Also tango is thong in Germany. Thongs are those metal things that you flip burgers and sausages with lol. Edit 2, apparently I have to freshen up on English even more. I was explained the difference between things and tongs. I go to the gym with my friend who is married to another good friend of mine. She her husband, me and my fiancé are all very close. Twice a week we go together to Zumba classes and go to the sauna afterwards. Usually I change my underwear after workouts because I sweat quite a lot. Today we had our course and we did the procedure of every Saturday. Only that my friend invited me to her place after Zumba for a couple of beers and stuff. Though instead of showering at the gym I showered at her place. When I came home I wanted to put my dirty laundry in the washing machine but for the life of me I couldn't find my underwear. An hour ago I got a frantic call from my friend. She was crying that she had found a tango that was very clearly not hers and she thinks her husband is cheating. At first I was shocked and my brain didn't connect the dots. But after she mentioned that they were grey with flowers, I froze. They were mine. They had fallen out when I was repacking.
packaging my gym bag. Imagine the embarrassing conversation we had. Me having to admit that they had fallen out today and her realizing that she was having a meltdown over her best friend Stanger. They aren't even sexy. They are old and stuff. Good thing is she just bursted out laughing because the situation was so ridiculous. She told me that my clumsiness had reached a new high. She is good now. Her husband found it funny afterwards too and my fiancé is just having the fucking time of his life laughing about this. TLDR, my tanga fell out at my friend's place and it almost destroyed a marriage. I misread for tango and didn't understand anything. As did I. I had no idea what a tanga was prior to this post and assumed op misspelled tango and had no idea what one of those had to do with a workout. What is this? A tanga for ants? It need to be at least three times as large. Well it's her tanga now. She has to mount it on the wall as a reminder for your taste in tangas and the laughs. It will be over the fireplace to commemorate the day. What is a tanga? Till, what a tango is, it's the Spanish word for thong. Today I fucked up by taking myself, a 15 year ICU nurse veteran, to the ER for starting my period because I thought I was bleeding to death. NSFW. So this unfortunate event did happen today. I got treated for breast cancer last year and one of the side effects of my chemotherapy was chemo-induced menopause. My oncologist told me that if my period didn't return for a year it was considered permanent. So after nothing for a year and a half I assumed that was that. Yesterday these terrible lower abdominal pains started along with what I thought was blood in my urine. I began to think I must either have the worst bladder infection in the history of the world or was otherwise bleeding from somewhere. To be fair, the pain was bad. Finally took myself to the ed to be told that I wasn't dying, but just started my period. Shamefully slinked away with my head held down. Too long didn't read, I thought I had chemo induced menopause but started my period and assumed I was bleeding out. How is this today I fucked up? You had a symptom that worried you, so you went to a medical professional and discovered there was nothing wrong. A similar thing happened to my boss. She had two children within about a three year time frame, and didn't have her period for around three or four years. She eventually experienced unexplainable bleeding down there, and thought she was dying until she remembered she could be having a period. Needless to say, the mistake is probably more common than we think. And thanks for bringing back a funny memory for me. Smile. Don't beat yourself over that. I feel that most people in that situation would think slash do the same thing. No shame in getting yourself checked out op, especially given your circumstances. You did the right thing. My sister, a nurse, not ER, but still, took herself to the ER for horrible stomach pain. Turn out, she was severely impacted. We all laugh because we always knew she was full of crap, now we have proof.